Welcome to AWE TV. I'm your host, Joseph Rampola, and I'm here with a very special guest, Yolande Kolsti. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you. So you must be really excited. Now, you are the founder of AR Lab, yeah. and you have come out with the art magazine, AR, and then a T yeah. in brackets, and you also have this magazine, not only online, but also in print. Yes. And this is the first magazine dedicated to AR art and beyond, I should say beyond also. So how did this whole thing get started? Well, um, we, uh, are, uh, we started the AR Lab as a cooperation between the University of Technology in Delft and uh, our Art Academy. So I'm from the Royal Academy of Art in the Hague. And uh, I, I, I met people from the University of Technology and I saw they did things with headsets and, and AR in 2006. And then I thought, well, uh, they lack a real interesting content. It was my idea. And I thought, well, we have the uh, art students, they have technical students, let's cooperate. Let's try to, to set up an AR lab. And at the first time it started at uh, as AR plus RFID. And Afterwards, it was a bit stupid name because nobody understand it, and <laughs> I said nobody could pronounce it, and uh, so it was not that clever idea. But anyhow, we managed to make a very nice uh, um, project with museums, and uh, with the, uh, the, the top of the bill uh, headset stuff and real technical things, but also really very interesting uh, um, art things. And uh, well, we, we continued and in 2010, uh, I also had some people from the University of Leiden, Leiden University uh, on board. And um, we promised uh, that we should make a kind of a, a, a book at the end of the four years of our cooperation. But then we, we had discussion and we thought maybe a magazine type would be better because then you can well be more actual. And so we uh, planning two uh, issues per year, okay. so this is number three, and um, yeah, well, it's, it's exciting to, to, to do this, it's extra, it's on top of the, uh, it's beautiful. the, the, the other stuff, but uh, yeah. So, is, so that right now is the way you're looking at two, epi two, two magazine episodes per year, is that, yeah. that going to change at all? Because I would imagine the demand might, might push that number up. I think so, but I, as, as for now, this is our plan. So right. 2014, so we plan uh, two more, and uh, then we will you know, have a meeting and decide if we uh, want to continue with this on this format, or do we want to have it in a different way? Do we want to have it uh, commercialized, so we don't have now any... It's, 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 it's free, we don't have any advertisements, uh, Maybe but then at that point we come to we say okay we ask ten euros or ten dollars or whatever for each copy and then we can make well that's a different concept. Right. Now we thought it just we are here for spreading interesting thoughts about augmented reality and that's why it is free. So how excited are you to be here? This is your first time here. I mean they're going to have some talk about some AR art and your presentation. Yeah. So you, there must be so much excitement going through you right now. Yeah, 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 that's true. But uh, it's not the first conference, of course, on AR that I, I, I um, right. attend. Right, right. Uh, this is the first AWE one that you've been at. It's the first AWE one. Right. And I think it's a special atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Last year I was at the ISMAR conference, mm -hmm. the, uh, another international symposium on mixed and augmented realities. Yep. And that's from uh, the organization IEEE. Mm -hmm. And it's more, a real more engineering. Uh, it's all engineers. But Absolutely. They also had a, an art and humanities track. Mm -hmm. And we were there. Uh, I would imagine Helen Papaganis was probably, was yeah, Helen yeah, yeah, Papaganis yeah. there? Because I know she talks She's about art. Also, also that sort of thing, too. Yeah, Good. We, we, we know her very well. Super. Well, we're going to get the word out about your magazine. And hopefully, you know, I'll, we'll, we talked about AR Dirt. And we're going to get you on <laughs> AR Dirt also. And do that, and uh, and who knows? So, do you, do you see this really moving somewhere? I mean, with the magazine, I mean, you you know, I, what's I your predictions? I hope so because I think when you uh, are, are trying to write down your thoughts in an article, that you it, it's it's more stable than just a blog because a blog, you know, you can continue and every day you can go on. But when you are really trying to write an article that you can print, and it's there. So you really have to think twice or triple or ten. I don't say that uh, 
uh, people who are writing a book not are thinking right. many times, but you can change it always. Mm -hmm. But when you print it, it's there. Right. And of course, you can with AI, we say, you read this, but in fact, it should be that. Of course, you can do things like this. But I had the idea that uh, making a community that's uh, Look at the critical side of AI development, as we are here now in the, in the talks, in the, in, the, in the keynotes, but also people who, who see uh, beneficial things coming out of this whole uh, development. Well, that's what. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's it's a nice platform. And you're presenting tomorrow? Is it tomorrow? You, when are you presenting? No, 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 today. Uh, to today. At, uh, at three. Okay. Between three and four, and I just have the 15 minutes uh, about the Van Gogh project. That I awesome. And you're going to talk all about what? Tell us what you're going to talk about, though, uh, real quick. Give us a, a 30 second uh, summary. Uh, what are your main I, points? I, I want to, to 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 show how we developed a student interesting. Uh, we uh, with students um, working for a museum evening, and out of this came a really good idea, and we were making a very stable and uh, interesting. I have out this that was in the museum, so it was not outside downloadable, it was in the museum and uh, the Van Gogh Museum is a very crowded museum and I think maybe 800,000 people saw this app and get to know more about, to learn more about the Van Gogh. We even developed that further and now we are in a very small or very quiet museum and there you can listen and get more information and if you are really having all the time of the world uh, it can amuse you for 45 minutes and I want to compare that because museums differ in their needs and differ in their visitors. Sometimes we in Europe say there is a, a, a bunch of Japanese or Americans coming to Europe and they're running to Paris, uh, see uh, one painting and they go to Germany, do one thing, so they're doing the whole Europe in one week, but they don't have no real, in, uh, well, in, in, for, for museums like that, like if you are in, in the Louvre and then uh, look at the Mona Lisa, then you don't have the time to, to, to get all the information. But when you are in a more quiet museum, you can have the time. And it really is adding, it gives you better information, it makes you connecting to, uh, to digital heritage. And uh, I think this is, well, this is what my talk is all about. And besides that, we also make our uh, our students make also digital art. But digital art is complex because the conservation issues. Because I they made it on it. old computers and the software isn't working anymore. When you do one update in your system, nothing works. And I know you're doing a tremendous amount with the art, and you know when you start looking at history, though. I think kids nowadays, they don't really pay attention to history so much. And this is a way to reconnect them with yeah. history yeah, 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 through sure. augmented reality. So I think you're doing an amazing work. I, I can't see your presentation because I'll be here, yeah. but it's being videotaped. So okay. I'm going to see it on the virtual ticket. Okay. So, but thank you so much. And, and how can people, what's the easiest way to get a hold of you or go to your website? What's AR Lab, www.arlab.nl dot NL. NL, dot from NL the Netherlands. from the Netherlands. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. It's good okay. talking to you. You're welcome. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. All right.